everybody, welcome to another recap of Dancing with the Stars. It's the results show! So, yes, it was Motown week this week. Well, it is Motown week. And they began the show with a Motown medley. Uh, and there was a group troupe dance, uh, plus a few others. It was very good, except for the dirty rumba. <laughs> Val and Peta, naughty naughty. It was kind of weird, petting her like a cat, and Alright. It was good. So then, right off the bat, we find out that Maria and Derek are in jeopardy. Melissa and Max are in jeopardy. Filler! <laughs> Alright, so, very inspiring story. Uh, they told the story about Michaela. She's originally from Africa. She was in an orphanage there. And she was adopted by uh, American parents, brought to America to live, and became a ballerina. Uh, they knew she had a gift. She ended up getting a scholarship to ABT, a.k.a. American Ballet Theater, if you don't know what that is. It's amazing. It's like the best ballet school ever. Uh, she was just amazing. First of all, I wanted to cry my eyes out because the story was so touching and so moving and her parents were just so wonderful. And then when she danced uh, to Natasha Bedingfield's Wild Horses, I mean, it was just like un unreal. Um, and she ended up dancing with a, a ballerino. <laughs> I don't think that's actually the term, but that's what I refer to a male ballet dancer as. And that was Adichike from, I think it was a couple seasons back on So You Think You Could Dance. I'm not sure if it was last season or not. I don't think so, though. Well, anyway, then they had to ruin the show. No, just kidding. Then the show continued with a video on the mental and physical pressure at the halfway point. Ooh, it's tough. What did you think? It was going to be easy? Obviously, if dancing, and especially ballroom dancing, were easy, wouldn't everyone be doing it? You knew when you signed up, it's going to be difficult. People don't learn how to dance overnight. So, yeah, and then William Levy was like, uh, yeah, there's going to be lots of dances coming up. <laughs> no S. All right, then they had the Macy Stars of Dance performance, which was amazing. Uh, Travis Wall choreographed it. There was a host of So You Think You Could Dance um, alumni, which were fabulous. The whole thing was just beautiful. Girl flying, and <sighs> I love that. All right, then Boys to Men performed, and Homer's getting very excited. Homer, why don't you come up and join the recap? Um, I'm assuming that they are signed by uh, Motown. They did that song, Motown Philly, right? Uh, <laughs> they're really good. They're just as good as they were back in the day. So, we also find out that Gladys and Tristan are in jeopardy, and Roshan and Chelsea are in jeopardy. I guess they did half the field this week is in jeopardy, and then they revealed who the bottom two were. Um, no surprise. Gladys and Tristan, and Roshan and Chelsea. Then, this week... The dance of dual choice is a jive. And neither of these two couples have ever done a jive before, so they basically learned it this morning, I'm assuming, from their tapes. So I thought, well, that's going to be a hot mess. And yeah, it wasn't great. It wasn't even good. <laughs> but what do you expect? They just learned it. I do have to give uh, Gladys Knight, like, honorable mention, though, because she was way better than I thought she was going to be. And she actually did get one vote to stay, and I don't think it was a pity vote. I think she actually deserved it. I thought she was really good for her age, you know, considering her age and blah, blah, blah. But unfortunately, she only got one out of the three votes, which means she's going home. Which is kind of a shame, because I really love Tristan, and she's a really nice person. I really enjoyed all of her video packages and everything, so. Good job, Gladys. I don't know what the theme is next week. Oh, it's classical, right? Classical week, next week. Are you ready for that? <laughs> oh, just in time, Homer. Till next time, much love.